I grew up here in LA and my mother would send me to Catholic school so that I wouldn't get involved in, in a lot of trouble. Little to her knowledge was there was a lot of people that were probably getting in trouble that were being sent to these schools. So obviously I gravitated towards them. They knew about graffiti and they were drawing and so I wanted to learn. I would practice a lot. At this school, penmanship was always encouraged. In 1990, I think I caught my first tag. That was eight years old, but I didn't have the courage to actually do it until a couple years later. I didn't really know that it was illegal or that it was like wrong to do. I just knew the feeling it gave me was it made me happy. The text I've been forming probably over the past 20 years or something like that. It first started from Old English. Just growing up in LA, I would see a lot of stuff written on walls and it was very distinctive. That was my first influence. And then I think I just got into the traditional graffiti early on. And so the root of the letter, if you strip down all the color and all the intricacies that it has and just get down to the skeleton of the letter, it still kind of resembles this. And a lot of it dealt with works that scribes had done because it was on walls and that's what was kind of telling the story. Being a graffiti writer, I was kind of drawn to that. And then that's when this, this style kind of developed. I still wonder if it's gonna take off. From an outside point of view, maybe it has. I owe a lot of people a gratitude. Small dealers to big art dealers to collectors who first started collecting my work. Usher was someone who collected my work very early on. I'm amazed at the people that have the pieces. I always wondered why people want something so bad when you have everything. What, what do you need this stuff for, right? What does it do for you? And I didn't learn that until I think I started collecting other work from other artists. What I noticed was it made me happy and it made me happy to share it. Sometimes I think you could be so wrapped into what you're doing that it just kind of goes right by you. I'm not necessarily the greatest artist. I'm not necessarily the best painter or this or that, but I had a drive and a motivation and I believed in what I wanted. If I could do it, there's a whole slew of young artists out there that could achieve it and achieve even greater than, than probably some of the things that I have done.